Oh, you talking story time, story time. Yeah! Sprinklers are okay, but I tend to keep it a stack. Only keep it real, no fraud, no me as that. All I got is my balls and my word, and that's fact. Ever need something guaranteed, I hit you right back. TWIN, Yo! What up, man? What up, man? What up, man? And look, man, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know what time it is, man. But look! Welcome back, man. Let me close out Firefox right quick so my processor can actually be used for this video. You hear me? Y'all hear me out there, huh? Y'all hear me out there? All right, now, since uh, a few of my people, my real ones, as you can see, my top three comments, Miss Melissa, my boy Terry, y'all, and Miss Nikki herself. You hear me? Shout out to my top three comments, man. Uh, real supporters, you hear me? Top three comments on... Let's just say a random video. You heard me? So if you wondering why you're not, you, you don't get posted as top three comments because I'm not looking at certain videos. You understand? You understand? So let's just put that out there. But story time. Now, the setting, the time was 2010. 2010, it was like winter time 2010, right? 2010. That's 2010, all right? Now, it, from the title, y'all see, I don't know what I named it. Y'all know, I be trying I be trying to get on my, no, low-key, I be trying to get on my, my clickbaity, baby, but it don't be really clickbait, you feel me? I just be trying to get the more descriptive type of titles. But basically, my first car accident, right? First car accident. Now, mind y'all, I had just got my license. We into story time. Story time, story time. You know, you know, you know. I just got my license like 2008, 2009. I think it was like 09, you know what I mean? Because I know I was like fresh off of smoking weed i was i was drug free you feel me <clears throat> i was still drinking though 2009 and you know got my license right so a whole year then went by accident free y'all know how it go any any of my males out there uh, around my age you know or even if you uh just turned 18 or you just turned 17 whatever if you had that meeting with the insurance company with your mother your father your aunt your grandmother whoever you Whoever insurance you're under, because if you're underage and you, you're not paying for no damn insurance, even when you're 18 and you're still living with your moms or whatever have you, you don't, we can't really, I don't think we can get insurance until we're like 21, if I'm not mistaken. Y'all let me know how, how true that is if I'm not mistaken. It's something like that. I think we can get it, but I think it's more expensive. You get me? Because we're more of a damn liability than the females. Like, y'all know we jackasses. All my fellas, y'all know we, we are fucking jackasses. We are. We are, and ladies mature way quicker than we do. You feel me? But <sighs> 2009, 2010 is a whole year. You heard me? I done had my L's accident free. Now, I stayed in the neighborhood, and my grandmother stayed right up the street from us, right? So, like I said, one of time, 2010, I'm going under my grandma house for, for whatever reason, right? I have one. Let me start looking in the camera so, like, I'm talking to you, right? Y'all know my memory's fucked up, but I remember this shit because it pissed me off. <clears throat> I had on a peacoat. Now, I don't know if y'all call it, if y'all call it peacoats in, in other regions, other states or whatever, but in VA, a peacoat. Like, it's basically like a dressy coat. I can wear it wherever. I can wear it to, for your case, you can wear it to the club. You can wear it to a business meeting. Like, if it's cold out, it's a peacoat, right? It's, it's a formal type of coat. It's, it's made like of wool, right? Keeps you warm. I had on that, I remember that, bro. I had on that, and I think I had on a button-up shirt, if I'm not mistaken. I had on, like, a button-up shirt. I was dressy. I don't know why I was dressy, but I was dressy, right? So, I'm going up to my grandmother's crib, right? So, mind y'all, you go straight. You going straight, right? Now, my grandmother's crib is to the left of that straight, right? To the left of that straight. Now, remember that. It's a stop sign, right? You go straight. It's a stop sign. You go right or you go left. Left is going down this road. Right is going down that road. Y'all with me, right? Now, before we get into that, let's let's give y'all some type of background, because I'm new at these story times, so y'all got to bear with me how I be jumping around, but just stay with me, stay with me. Now, in my, in my neighborhood, it was, a, well, put it like this, maybe two years, not even two years, maybe, this was maybe a year, maybe a year and a half, two years, we had just got a, a, re, a newer corner store, right? It turned from like a club to like, it, it turned from like a, a I don't want to say a bar, but like, like a sports bar, somewhat like a sports bar, it turned into a convenience store, right? A corner store. And 
the foreigners came. Y'all already know. Anybody ever seen my black man stand up videos? Y'all know what I say, man. These foreigners, they come, they get our stores in our communities, whatever have you. Now, mind you, I'm cool with, let's just call them pops. That's actually, I'm cool with him. He's good people. You feel me? Old head. He, they call him Pops because he's older, but he's mad cool. You feel me? Mad cool, mad respectable. You feel me? Type of type of, type of of person that you wouldn't even mind working for. Y'all get what I'm saying? On that type of level, on a boss type of level, right? You wouldn't mind working for him because it's like he going to let you eat. You get what I'm saying? That He was cool, right? He had a son, right? He had a son. Now, his son is the typical, oh, my Pops got money, so... I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do. Spoiled motherfucker, right? Now, now, mind you, I'm hood. I'm hood raised. You feel me? I'm from the hood. You understand? I I, I got that mentality. I, I, some call it a street ment mentality or whatever. Different type of, we, we was on different type of ways. Him and I. You get what I'm saying? I ain't going to say the majority of my hood, but the motherfuckers that was in my hood that wasn't from my hood. Y'all get what I'm saying? But they was living there, but they really wasn't from my hood. You get what I'm saying? They He had them eating out of his hands. You dig me? Y'all with me? We on, we on the same level. He had them eating out of their hands. Now, mind you, he, he probably got a look. They got money. You feel me? They got this corner store. They probably got a, a corner store off off across two other cities type shit. You know what I mean? So they they foreigners, man. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Now the son, like I said, he he, he started dealing with 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 my hood because it's right down the street, right? The corner store is right down the street. Started dealing with motherfuckers in my hood. You know what I mean? Not none of my OGs, but motherfuckers that was in the hood and shit. And he basically had them eating out his hands type shit. So, I peeped that shit. You feel me? I got motherfuckers that I fuck with. They, they shit coming back to me. They letting me know. You know, they letting me know certain situations. All right, whatever. I'm not I'm not impressed by your, your, your pop's money. You get what I'm saying? I'm not impressed with, with what the fuck you got. You know what I mean? What what he had going on. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm very really easily not impressed, for lack of a better term. I don't know how to say that. Y'all know what I'm saying. I, I, I'm not easily impressed. You get what I'm saying? I mean, that shit don't impress me. You feel me? There's a point to it. He he basically he had this he had this uh what's that mentality called? He had the mentality in which he couldn't be touched. You feel me? And mind y'all, there's no animosity for me towards him. I don't know this motherfucker. You feel me? I know of him because the little dumb shit that he's doing is getting back to me. You understand? Y'all y'all with me? It's getting back to me. So long story short, my grandma crib is up the street and. Bad little bitch. Let me, well, she, she, I ain't seen her in a minute. She used to be bad. Bad little bitch. Uh, I used to go to school. We used to go to school. And the school bus would come get us, make that goddamn left high school, and pick her up. Boy, man, I ain't going to say she she had a nice little fat ass on her, but she had a nice little, what, what y'all call it? What, what they call it back in the day? She had a nice little shape. You heard me? Nice little shape. Nice little shape. I mean, I ain't going to say too, too, uh, too much to look at. You feel me? But nice little shape on her. Nah, I mean, I don't really think she had no hair for real, for real, but nice little shape on her. <laughs> Y'all know how I get. We talking, we vibing. Nice little shape. Now, her, she had a sister too. Her sister, she was understood that, uh, they said she stink like, uh, we ain't not gonna get into that, but. That young lady, he, the, 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 the dumb motherfucker that I'm talking about, he wanted up, ended up messing with her. He was messing with her. The whole hood knew we already knew whatever, whatever, right? Whatever. And he be up there, right? Cause my, mind you, my grandmother stay right across the street from this bad little jump. You know what I mean? Like I said, it's like two years removed, three, three, four years removed in which I was in school, right? So that's how I knew. You know what I mean? I knew. But he was dealing with her, right? So all of this is gonna come into effect. Now mind y'all what I told y'all. Now, to add on before I get into the, the whole accident. He always used to stir. Now me, being where I'm from, being went through what I went through in my own goddamn hood, you stirring at me, that shit don't mean a goddamn thing to me. You feel me? Like nigga, nigga, nine times out of ten, bro, if a nigga stirring hard as a motherfucker, I'm, I'm on some shit. Like yo, what's up? You feel me? Ain't shit. What's up? Nigga say ain't shit. What's up? I mean, I'm saying though, you see her looking at me like you fucking know me type shit. You feel me? You know what I mean? That 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 you know what I mean? Like it's more like like nigga, damn, you 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 looking mighty hard type shit. You know what I mean? That's that's my my my. But I understood why he was great. I understood why he always used to give me that. uh always used to look at me because I, me and my homeboys, the very few that I had, we was in our own lane. We was doing our own fucking thing. You feel me? We wasn't on his dick. Let's just say that. You feel me? To the motherfuckers that was in my hood but wasn't from my hood. They was on his dick. Y'all get what I'm saying? We on the same page? 
and he will be looking at shit. Now, mind y'all, this nigga, this nigga probably already know. I was driving Mom Duke's whip. It was mine. I was already able to drive, so it was mine. I was driving a Ford Taurus, 1989. Mm. 89. I call that motherfucker. My little cousin old smoke. He be laughing every time I say this shit. I call her Helen. Her name was Helen. She was a she was a smoky gray Ford Taurus 1989. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm doing all of that because it was the first whip that I drove. That bitch was a Mercedes to me. Are you hearing me? She was a Beamer. When, when y'all look at you, she was a G Wagon. You heard me? Homo. You heard me? Shit, what the fuck? Rolls Royce, motherfucker. To me. My first goddamn whip. Shout out to Miss Melissa E2, man. I don't even be on Snapchat. I got to start being on Snapchat. Y'all make sure y'all follow my Snapchat. It's either here or it's either over there. Might be up here. I don't know where I'm going to put it at. But y'all make sure y'all do that. I don't be up there. But shout out to Miss Melissa. So, four tours, 1989, right? Old oh, shit. It's 2010, nigga. This shit is old shit. But mind y'all, I had a connection to that because that was my year. I'm born in 89, right? So, y'all see how that work out? Okay, I'm pushing this shit. He know what I'm pushing. He know what the fuck I'm in. He know this. So, we back at that stop sign. I'm, I ain't gonna hold y'all too much longer. We at that stop sign. And my grandma's to the left. So, I'm looking. You know you know how you drive, nigga. I'm a driver. I know how to drive. Don't, don't try to play me in the comments. You hear me? I'm looking to the right. I'm looking to the left. It's cold outside. I'm like, I'm cold. I'm good. I'm good. I turn. Now, mind you, when I turn... Is a center lane that I'm turning into. I'm not turning all the way, you know what I mean? Like closer towards old girl crib, right? Old girl crib, my grandma crib over here. I'm turning into the center lane. And my homeboy crib was like right there on the corner, right? That's his crib, right down the corner. So I'm turning into the center lane. Mind y'all, I am in the center lane. Y'all dig me? My, my, I'm in the center lane. And my homeboy crib is right here on the corner. This is the goddamn corner with the stop sign. I turned into the center lane, right? I'm into the center. I'm already in the goddamn center lane. And my homeboy crib is right there in front of, like, I'm right here to the left of me. That's his crib. Right across the street from his crib is old girl crib. Right beside his crib is another crib. And beside that crib is my grandmother's crib. Y'all got me? I probably confused a lot of y'all, but whatever. I'm in the center lane. Now, I see this dumb motherfucker speeding past me, bro. You heard me? He my bad. I see him coming. I'm in the center lane, right? Now, mind y'all, I got to wait till his dumb ass get the fuck out of my way for me to pull into my grandmother's yard. So, ain't in no goddamn hurry. He starts speeding and he speed past me. And y'all know how motherfuckers do. Anybody that can contest, y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, when you driving on a highway or you on a freeway, whatever have you, if somebody's on a bike, let's just say they want to show up. But even if they don't want to show up, say you just hold up traffic. Say you a jackass that day. You don't care. Say you on the phone, little mama. You on the phone running your mouth with that nigga. Nigga, you better bring me some KFC. Whatever. You you holding up traffic and heat, man. Fuck you. Hey, yeah, he gonna go past you. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So, I wasn't holding up traffic. Don't take that as that. He speed up. Now, mind you, I'm in the, I'm in the goddamn center lane. Next thing you know, I hear a bang. Boom! And my shit just started rolling. I'm in the center lane. Now, mind you, I'm in the center lane. My stickman crib is here. I'm in the center lane. The stop sign is here. I turn. I'm completely in the goddamn center lane. Are you hearing me? And my homeboy crib is right here. Right there. And right there where, where my shit is at. About, about time I heard a boom, I'm about right here. Right? So, about time I heard a boom and my shit completely stops. It co it's an 89. It completely stops. And it's a, it's a crib right there like... It's, I, want, I don't want to say it's right there beside my grandma. It's in between my grandmother's crib and my homeboy's crib, right? My shit completely stopped. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? You feel me? It ain't registering at all. Next thing you know, I heard this bitch nigga. This he going crazy. I don't even remember what the fuck he said, but he said something disrespectful. Cause I ain't never said nothing dead, dead. My like he ain't never said nothing to me. I ain't never said shit to him. But it was like, uh, this crazy motherfucker here, or oh, he said something. And he was marching towards me. So at that moment, y'all already motherfucking know. I don't know what the fuck just happened. I know my shit just stopped. I said, man, what the fuck? I hopped out my shit because I heard him cussing and fuss. I said, what the fuck you mean? I'm pulling up my goddamn pants. I think I was taking off my goddamn coat. The fuck you mean? My homeboy mom's had came out. And she came out. She told me, calm down, Dedrick. Calm down, Dedrick. Uh, I said, no, because I don't know what the fuck. 
what what the who, who he think he talking to type shit. You feel me? Like I'm not right. Y'all know how I get. I'm not right because one, the first thing you say to me ain't gonna be this motherfucker. This this you got me fucked up with them niggas that was yeah. I'm a different breed. You feel me? So she she holding me and then number words because he start walking away. His bike is at the stop sign, right? Is he at the stop? Is at the stop sign and he's walking towards me. Now let's break this down in my mind. I'm like. This nigga hit me, bro, because I look at the back of my shit. Like, I look at the back of my shit. It's, it's, it's dented in a little bit, like a, like a, either to the right or to the left of my wheel on the driver's side, right? Now, I left this out of my bed. He's a crazy motherfucker. He one of them crazy motherfuckers. Y'all, he one of them crazy motherfuckers. I think he was doing coke and everything back then. My mathematics added up that what he did was when he passed me, he turned. He didn't know. He I guess he thought I was in the... In the um, uh, in the regular lane, right? So he turned to get to old girl crib. Mind you, that's why I told you that. You feel me? The nigga, that's I believe that's what he done. You feel me? Like when when I say he sped up, maybe that's what he was doing. Like the the and turn. Y'all know how crazy motherfuckers is with that bike, but this motherfucker was another type of crazy. You feel me? Now the the conspiracy in me. Looking back, I was like, this bitch ass nigga, knowing damn well that was the only car that I had, and he just he just fucked my shit up. You feel me? That's a conspiracy in me. And low key nigga, yeah, he probably done that too. You feel me? But look, he's coming, and he know he going to old girl crib. He coming from this direction, so he gonna speed the fuck up and he gonna turn. Y'all know how they do, like either turn or I don't know. I never rode a bike a day in my life, but you know he hit the brakes or whatever and turn, but not realizing that nigga, I'm not in the far lane going that way. Bitch ass nigga, I'm going to my grandma crib. You feel me? So what it was, he fucked around and miscalculated this shit, hit me type shit, and then you you know what I mean. So long story short, my shit got total. My shit got total. <sighs> Helen got total, man. Damn, she got total. And they ain't the whole part, bro. Look, 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 look. Y'all know what happened? This motherfucker, cause hey, come on, I ended up showing up. And then, because it's my first time, I don't know what the fuck to do. Remember, they give you that little prep talk at the uh, at the insurance company. They was like, we give you a camera, take pictures, call 911. I won't call the police like I told y'all. I'm from the hood. Wasn't calling no goddamn police. But my aunt ended up getting there. She ended up calling goddamn police. And we got shit situated. This bitch-ass nigga didn't have no insurance. You feel me? No insurance whatsoever. Now, back in my day, we had crooked cops. Any nigga from the hood, y'all already know. Niggas was crooked as fuck. Crooked D's and shit. Crooked D's. This nigga that had no insurance, right? Because when we was trying to get his information, he didn't have any. Uh, ins he didn't have any insurance. Then when a, it was, it was two cops. It was a cop and it was a D's. The cop, he didn't, he he didn't have no insurance. He that's what he was telling us. This is what he told the cop. Now when the D's got out there, I ain't gonna call the D's name out. The detective to my to my people that don't know, detective when he got out there, crooked motherfucker. He ended up saying the same thing. So days go by, we fast forward. Her. Come to find out, now he has progressive, right? Now he has progressive. And I don't know what the fuck, I mean, I don't know, I mean, after that, okay. But you didn't have no insurance, right? But when he talked to the D's, like I said, crooked, and mind you, motherfuckers, they, he was probably moving some shit. I can say that. It ain't got shit to do with me. I ain't snitching. He was probably doing some shit. Like I said, y'all, my real ones, y'all already knew what was up, what I, what I mean. Like, he had niggas eating out his hand type shit. So if you fucking with the, the crooked ass D's, of course, oh, Oh, you got progressive? All right, let's switch this over right quick, right quick. You know what I mean? Like, he didn't have insurance at the time of the accident. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, fuck all that. My shit got total. That bitch-ass nigga won't bout shit, right? And still to this day, he fucked around and damaged my shit. I was an 89 Taurus, bro. You feel me? 89 Taurus, and he damaged my shit. Oh, well, now he ain't got nothing to ride. Fuck that nigga. Feel me? He ain't gonna be on my dick. Fuck that nigga. That's a, uh, uh. Never mind, though. Now, I ain't never had to go to court. Now, before court come, y'all know this bitch-ass nigga tried to sue me for a million dollars? It was either a million dollars or half a million dollars. I think it was half a million dollars. Now, I don't know too much about goddamn bikes now that I'm older and hindsight. Ain't no goddamn bike no 500,000 goddamn dollars. Now, mind y'all, I don't know shit about it, and I got back problems to this day. I don't know nothing about it, and the good heart in me was not finna come. My aunt was telling me. She was like, nigga, you about to act like your back hurt, nigga. Fuck is you doing? This is my aunt. You heard me? Shout out to my goddamn Aunt Netta. You heard me? I'm going to say Netta, but that ain't her name. But still, shout out to you, Aunt Tay. You better act like your goddamn back hurt, nigga. What the fuck is you doing? This is her telling me. 
Like, man, my shit don't hurt, though. You feel me? Me not knowing that it's called, like, whiplash type shit. So a few days go by, your shit will start hurting. You know what I mean? Like, because they can't prove that your shit not. You know what I mean? Your neck, your back, all it. I, I'm not. I'm good hearted, bro. So it's like, no, I wasn't feeling like my shit was fucked up. So, you know what I mean? Days go by. He sent me a goddamn, uh, what is it, subpoena or whatever. Nigga sue me. Trying to sue me for five. Let's just say 500,000. 500,000. Close to a mill was something outrageous. I was like, what the fuck? Nigga, I stay in the hood. This nigga got me fucked up. It was just insult injury. Y'all get what I'm saying? That's what he done. Now, mind y'all, that didn't go no further. But mind y'all, he had that and he had a big ass white truck. I ain't gonna hold y'all no longer. You hear me? Because I gotta get this video out tonight. You hear me? Shout out to my pops too, because today is birthday, 12 13. Shout out to my pops. You hear me? <coughs> he had a white truck. And then the next week, excuse me, next week or week and a half. It was snowing. You heard me? I told y'all it was one time. I'm walking to my grandma's crib. Y'all know what I see? I see that truck, that big ass truck. I don't know what the name of it was, but it was a big ass truck. He was sitting up off the ground with it, right? Tell me why his whole goddamn wheel axle in the back popped the fuck off. You heard me? He he was his shit was stranded. Like, and what I tell y'all, he's crazy. It had, I don't know whether he was driving and he he lost control. I doubt that. Or he was acting stupid as fuck. Cause you know when it's snow on the ground, NVA any goddamn way. Niggas don't know how to drive. Everybody, oh, oh, we gotta go to. He was probably acting the goddamn fool, swerving on the motherfucker, and hit the goddamn. He, he crashed. Y'all get what I'm saying? So his whole shit was broke off. And I seen, I took a picture and everything. Cause at this time, nigga got a lawsuit against me. At this time, I'm like, nigga, I got fucking photos. Look, man, he's reckless. He do stupid shit like this. Nas making sense, what I mean? Like when he would have done the, the whole uh, turning around to go to old girl crib. Nas making sense. He crashed his shit not even a week and a half later. You feel me? Out there in the snow. Make sense of it. I'll wait. See what I'm saying? So I took a picture. You know I took a motherfucking picture of it. Oh, I had like a little Blackberry. A little Scrape Talk Blackberry. Uh, shout out to Scrape Talk. Yeah, that way, that way. You heard me? I took a picture of this shit real quick. Sent it to my aunt and everything, make sure, you know what I mean? I still had another copy some goddamn well, you heard me? She was like, what? What in the world? What? Yes, this is how dumb the nigga is. You feel me? This is what he do. This is his character. I ain't gonna hold y'all too much longer, man. That lawsuit ain't going no goddamn well, man. To this day, I don't know where the fuck his bitch is at. I really don't give a fuck. You feel me? Type of motherfucker that, type of motherfucker, any nigga from the hood, y'all know what I mean. Type of nigga got money. Think you could come in the hood and buy it? No, nigga, you don't get no hood pass from me. Not me or my OGs. You feel me? Yeah, no, nah, nigga, hell, fucking no. Nah, you feel me? Cause I see you. To me, you the police. You feel me? The way you moving, nah, nigga. And he was talking. I told you he was talking with the police. You feel me? I think that's probably why it was a divide. Cause nigga, I seen you talking. Either or, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this uh story time, man. <laughs> y'all see me, man. Like I said, first car accident, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. I'm probably skipping and everything. Cause I just seen the encoded thing. 23 minutes, man. I ain't gonna hold y'all no longer. Till next time, man. It's be your boy Twin. Look, man. Be yourself or be everybody else. And I'm out. Peace. Yo, yo. My bad, y'all. Look, 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 look. Another part to the story. Look. I know y'all wondering what happened. Okay. This shit didn't. Ain't nothing happened, but. The judge ruled in his fucking favor. He didn't show up to court, none of that shit. But the judge was like, okay, considering how it's set up, I'm going to just rule that he had the right away. He didn't have a fucking right away. You heard me? You heard me, judge? He didn't have the motherfucking right away. I told him this. He was like, look, man, just go ahead and take the goddamn uh, the uh, driving class and just call it a wrap. I had to take a fucking driving class. That's all, man. You heard me? That that That's, that's all. That's all. Till next time, man. Peace. <laughs>